you've probably been hearing rumors of dismissals or settlement. Whichever the case is, it's the same from my point of view, as long as the case is over and dead and they can move it out of the way so that Ripple and XRP can put their wings on and really fly, right? Now, we know that the new administration, the head of the new administration, DJT, has heard of the Ripple versus SEC case. He's had people talk to him about it in the past. There are records of it happening. And I think that, you know, whatever you think of him, that one thing he has in common with Ripple is that he has been hounded in court for an X period of time for a charge that they or may not think he is uh, guilty of or whatever. But at least he understand the process of being chased in court and hounded in court and harassed and litigated. He understands that more than probably anybody in government at the moment, right? As such, I think that he might be sympathetic to the cause of Ripple versus the SEC. The government, the arm of the government, going after individuals and businesses and business ventures, all that stuff. He, he could really put his feet in the shoes of Ripple and sort of feel a camaraderie with Ripple when it comes to, you know, this whole legal thing, right? Especially if they play it to him that the Ripple case with the SEC is stifling innovation and getting in the way of the United States being the foremost country when it comes to cryptocurrencies or anything for that matter. We know that kind of thing really triggers DJT and he's very likely to be on the positive side when it comes to XRP and Ripple. So basically you can claim that Ripple now has an ally in the highest positions in government. Someone who has a lot of power, who can enact a lot of things really, really quickly. One of course of which is firing Gary Gensler, which is what we've heard over and over again. I've even seen some analyses now to say that what could happen if Trump tried to fire Gensler, whether the uh, comebacks that Gensler has, etc. To be honest with you, I don't think Gary Gensler is that committed to this position, especially when he can easily get a private position, probably in BlackRock or one of these other big giant organizations that's going to pay him 10 times as much as he's getting paid right now. I don't think he's ready to go down with this ship, especially when, if you think about it, he himself is probably not the one pulling the strings. There are probably people in the back that also are telling him what to do. And once those people change guard, then maybe he has no other reason to keep hounding uh, Ripple for no apparent reason. The thing though is the whole crypto industry should get on their knees and thank Ripple and XRP holders for taking this fight to the authorities. So this whole time, Ripple has been fighting the fight for the entire crypto sphere, right? The entire crypto sphere. Because Ripple and by extension, the XRP ledger and XRP holders have been put there as the scapegoats and some sort of shield against the rest of these guys while they were able to flourish and able to grow. The irony though is, while this was happening, XRP army, holders of XRP, etc., and even Ripple, the company, are being ridiculed by all these other people. They tell you, you're crazy, this is a dead coin, da 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 da. Not realizing that had Ripple lost the case, this would have been a catastrophic effect across the board for all cryptos. See what happened to Library. That would have been the norm. All of these other cryptos would have just collapsed under the weight of the SEC. Now, a lot of these other cryptos could have joined in the fight. We could have presented a unified force to fight the SEC and we would have won this earlier. But a lot of these other tokens either threw in the towel, they sold out or chickened out, right? See what happened with Ethereum. Ethereum Foundation could have formed some sort of solidarity with Ripple and fought this together. However, there were rumors that things weren't really as they seemed. So maybe there are things that were known about Vitalik and whatever that prevented this from happening. And then you have EOS, who just basically died off, you know, fell off the tree, basically. EOS used to be top 10. Heck, at some point it was top five when it came to tokens on the market cap list. And for whatever reason, internal struggles, political issues within the organization, and the whole thing just collapsed, basically. Now EOS, I don't think people even remember what it is. And then you have Library, who actually won their own case, but collapsed under the financial burden of a legal battle with the SEC. And then you have Kraken and Coinbase and all these other people who basically I just either just capitulated, uh, paid up, 
sold out or one thing or the other, right? Coinbase put up a little bit of a fight. You know, they did that lawsuit, which basically uh, brought on the acceptance of the ETFs for Bitcoin. But then obviously it wasn't just Bitcoin that was doing that. In the back, you had BlackRock probably sending an army of lawyers in the back without our knowledge uh, to the SEC or think himself just picking up the phone and calling up Gary saying, hey, I need this ETF. What do I need to do? And then bam, 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 before you knew it, approved. So much so that the Ethereum ETF was also approved without much scrutiny, even though Ethereum is in the same technically legal boat as Ripple. Do you remember Ethereum gate or is it ETH gate? That is yet to be resolved until this very day. Even Ethereum is relying on a victory by Ripple for them to be in the clear. Even then, they're not really in absolute certain clear. They are in a virtual clear by proxy of you know XRP being in the clear. So we know that even till now, the only two tokens in the entire crypto sphere that have legal clarity are, well, Bitcoin by default and XRP. All the others are still subject to scrutiny by the SEC. If one day another administration takes over and they restore the SEC to what it used to be, bring back Gary Gensler, or even worse, these tokens could still be taken to court and the whole system can start again with somebody else. XRP, on the other hand, is set in stone, not a security. The only issue we have left is a political issue with you know, human beings, the CEOs, the, the founders, etc. Now, once that is settled and that's resolved, which is very likely now that we have someone on top of government who is probably, you know, golf buddies with these guys on the board of Ripple, that can be sorted out very swiftly. And analysts and speculators are saying that that's going to happen sooner rather than later. And everyone is gearing up. Whales are buying the heck out of the loose XRP that has been sold by panic sellers. Um, there's OTC buying happening in the back. By the way, a lot of people ask if whales are accumulating so much XRP, why don't we see the price go up? Well, first of all, the price is going up, but a lot of the sales are actually happening also OTC, right? Over the counter, not on the open market, right? And that's the, people seem to have forgotten about OTC sales to whales, right? This is what they do when they buy that much. They don't want to move the market just yet, or they don't want to move the market while they are buying. Once they finish accumulating, they have no problems moving the market. In fact, they'll be very happy when the market starts to move. But not financial advice, your own research. Time is running out. This is a rare opportunity. You know, it's hard to believe that we're alive to experience this. Um, do your own research. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself. Have a nice day.